Earth began amidst chaos, forged from cosmic collisions four and a half billion years ago. Its molten surface was a whirlwind of violence, with boiling rock and magma-laden oceans defining a new world. As the planet cooled, relentless rain filled the first oceans, yet volcanic eruptions and earthquakes continued to shape its tumultuous surface. The crust cracked, releasing fiery rivers of lava, illustrating Earth's tumultuous beginnings. Amid this chaos, the building blocks of continents began to emerge. Lighter minerals, pushed upward by volcanic forces, floated above the dense oceanic crust. These became Earth's first landmasses, small and fragmented. Over time, they collided and merged, giving birth to the ancient supercontinents. Volcanoes were the architects of continents. Their eruptions spewed gases that thickened the atmosphere, creating the sky we breathe today. Ash and molten rock reshaped the surface again and again. Life itself would one day depend on these fiery mountains, for they produce the minerals and nutrients essential for evolution. Beneath the continents, Earth's mantle moved like a slow, churning ocean of rock. This movement, known as plate tectonics, set the stage for billions of years of change. Continents drifted, collided, and tore apart. Mountains rose, oceans closed, and entire worlds were reborn. At least five supercontinents formed and broke apart in Earth's history. Rodinia, Panotia, Gondwana, and Pangaea. Each ruled the planet for millions of years before splitting into fragments. These shifting plates sculpted the globe we know today. Seven continents separated by vast oceans. Yet Earth's power was not always gentle. Supervolcanoes erupted with unimaginable force, altering climates and reshaping life. One such eruption, 250 million years ago, triggered the greatest mass extinction in history, wiping out more than 90% of all species. From destruction, however, new life always emerged. Continents became the stage upon which life thrived. Shallow seas at their edges nurtured coral reefs. Vast plains supported forests and dinosaurs. Later, the collision of continents raised the Himalayas, the Alps, and the Andes, towering monuments to Earth's restless heart. Even today, continents move silently beneath our feet. The Atlantic Ocean grows wider each year. The Pacific shrinks. In 200 million years, a new supercontinent may rise, a world both familiar and strange. The continents we walk on are not eternal. They are chapters in Earth's long story, written in fire, water, and stone. And as they continue to move, evolve, and transform, they remind us of a simple truth. Our planet is alive.